Hey y'all, thanks for watching. Uh, today we're going to take a quick little look at the STI Spartan 1911 chambered in 45 ACP. Uh, before we get started, let's run it over real quick. Uh, check it for safety. We can see nothing there in the mag well and nothing in the chamber. So we are good to go. Uh, STI Spartan. Just going to say it right now, I think this is the best 1911 you can get uh, for the price. Uh, they run for about 620 bucks. Uh, you can find them all, all day long for that price online, uh, both gun shop, gun broker, any of those. Uh, they're a little bit harder to find locally. Might be able to find a little bit better price at, a, at the right gun shop. Uh, there's a couple in my area that have them. Uh, they carry STI, like Shooter Station, I've been told they are the biggest uh, STI dealer in the nation. And uh, they're right here in Montgomery, close to 45 off of 105. And uh, Tom Pond also has a has a couple of STIs uh, from time to time. Uh, might want to check them out if you're down here in this area. But uh, <clears throat> like I said, you can find them online uh, all day long. Butts Gun Shop, 620 bucks. I don't think you can really beat that. Um, and uh, like I said, I'd put it up against any any other 1911's price range. And I'd even go as far to say as uh, the seven or eight hundred dollar 1911. Uh, like Ruger or Springfield or Remington or any of those, I'd I'd put it up against that, and I'd still take the Spartan every day of the week, no questions asked, not even not even close. Uh, I just think uh, the quality on this gun is is uh, I mean for this price, it's just just unreal. Uh, of course, it's not a less it's not a less fair or a Wilson Combat or any uh or another STI model like your Trojan or any of those. Uh, of course, but uh, actually, this is about half the price of any other uh, of any other STI. Uh, it's about half the price of most of them. I think just about all of them. But uh, but for the price, like I said, you cannot beat this gun. You will not beat this gun, as far as I'm concerned. Um, I'm a big fan of STI. Uh, they're here in Georgetown, Texas, uh, a little homegrown company. I like that. Uh, they make quality, quality firearms. Uh, can't say enough good things about them. Uh, they're actually building me a 1911 right now. Uh, should be here around December is what they've been telling me. So uh, uh, a little custom job there. So uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and put up that video just uh, uh, probably around de December, January, maybe start of next year. So be on the lookout for that. But uh, like I said, they're made right here in Texas. And actually, every STI is made in Texas except for the Spartan. And... Uh, it's the only only one of the models that's not made here in Texas, and uh, I've heard a lot of stuff on the internet about it. Uh, read a lot of stuff about people saying, "Oh, they're made in the Philippines." Uh, Rock Island makes them. This that. Uh, if you're gonna buy buy one, just save your money and go buy a Rock Island. If you're gonna buy a Philippine gun, Philippine made gun, and uh, I have here a quote from uh, Chris he, uh, over at STI and Quality Control. And uh, I'm going to read that for y'all just to clear up, uh, clear up any confusion, and uh, hopefully set the record straight on what exactly is going on with the Spartan. And uh, here's what he says: The Spartan is manufactured in the Philippines by Arms Corps. All of the fire control components and safeties are STI parts made in Texas. We ship the parts over there, and they assemble and finish them. The guns then get shipped to the states where my guys inspect and test them before being shipped out to our customers. STI and Arms Corps both have the, their hands on the gun. This is our only model that we have this unique partnership with Arms Corps on. The gun has full STI support and warranty. So, uh, like you said, it is made by Arms Corps over there in the Philippines. If you look here on the frame, uh, right underneath the slide, you can see Arms Corps Philippines right there. And, uh, but he did say, uh, all the fire control components and the safeties are uh, Texas made by STI and uh, they ship them over there, STI, or Arms Corps rather. Um, they, uh, they put it all together and send the finished gun back to STI, back here to Georgetown, Texas, where the folks over there at STI inspect them and test them, make sure they're up to STI quality and STI standards. And uh, it also carries the full STI warranty. So. Uh, Anyway, so I'll, I'll put that quote up in the in the text in the in the description. That way, y'all can uh, read it and all that. But uh, as far as being made in the Philippines, it doesn't bother me a bit. Uh, he gets te uh, tested, and inspected by STI, and they have an excellent reputation for making quality pieces. And 
and like he said, it covers, it has the full STI warranty on it, so it really doesn't bother me a bit. Uh, I think it's a way STI ha uh, can offer such a great, great quality firearm at such an affordable price. Um, but anyways, enough talk. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the gun real quick. Uh, these stocks actually changed, or the grips rather, actually changed them out. These are not the ones that come with us on the factory. Uh, I think these look pretty sweet on it, and they got a real nice feel to it. I like the like the feel of them on there. And uh, so it did, these are aftermarket grips, and uh, right here on the front, it's not not checkered. So I went to the hardware store, uh, bought this roll of this stuff. It's got a little texturing on there, and uh, it had a couple of, couple different colors. I, uh, chose black for obvious reasons, but uh, a couple bucks got me a whole roll of it, and I can do probably 20, at least 20 guns uh, with this. I like to do that on all mine. They don't have serrations here on the front, and the checker in here on the front it just like gives me a little bit better grip, better feel for it. But anyways, you look here on the back. Uh, you can see it does have checkering here on the back uh, on the mainspring housing, so uh, that's nice. That's nice checkering pattern back here gives it a good feel for it. Uh, uh, beaver tail grip safety that's a plus right there I like that and uh, has oversized uh, thumb slide safety whatever you want to call it uh, big plus for me there makes it, when you're drawing makes it really easy to flip it off or put it back on safety so that's a plus for me uh, it's not ambidextrous I wish it was and actually the lack of the ambidextrous safety and uh, no serrations on the front are the only two things I don't like about it uh, about this gun but not a deal breaker by any means. Uh, you can see here uh, it's got um, the serrations here on the front and the back, both sides of course. And uh, I like having that. I like having uh, serrations on the front. And uh, you can see skeletonized hammer, skeletonized trigger. And uh, the trigger pull on this actually is really, really nice. Uh, crisp, clean breaking. Uh, trigger which is I mean typical 1911 trigger but I don't know just the feel of this trigger the, the way it feels on my when I'm squeezing I just I don't know I just love the trigger on this uh, like I said typical 1911 trigger uh, real short trigger pull uh, real crisp flame breaking but like like the trigger definitely one of the uh, better trigger pulls I felt on 1911 but I mean any 1911 is going to have an awesome trigger on it that's just uh, the nature of the beast but uh, the sides here you can see uh, got the red red dot fiber off red fiber optic front sight you can see and uh, on the back here it's got the notch sights which is what I like I like having that notch on the back and uh, I don't know if y'all saw the video of my Springfield but I uh, actually blacked out the back uh, just like the sight picture on that a little bit the way this is set up a little bit better but uh, and it's also adjustable, uh, windage and elevation, up and down, left to right, all that good stuff. Uh, I like that. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, one other thing, big big thing for me, I like the full length guide rod. Love having a full length guide rod on my 1911. A uh, big thing for me there. But um, like I said, uh, STI Spartan, 620 bucks, they'll get you one. Best 1911 you're gonna find for the price, uh, in my opinion. I just don't think it can be beat for this price. But anyways, that is it. Uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, drop me a comment below. I'll do my best to best to answer it. And uh, until next time, y'all have fun out there. And